Hey guys, what's up? It's great. How's everybody doing tonight? Um, so listen to the discussion being on my thoughts, um, on the fight between Robin from Teen Titans and Slade from Teen Titans now. For those of you that don't know, um, the original Teen Titans, the good version, let's say, was an animated series that ran on Cartoon Network from 2003 to 2006. And, uh, Robin was sort of the leader of the Titans and Slade was, let's say, the actual main villain. Or rather, the one of the only villains that had an actual sort of story arc. And one of the arcs is, um... Something happens to Slade that causes him to die. For those of us that haven't seen the show, I won't spoil it, but... Um, after some time, Robin starts to go through, um, Slade, the old items he's confiscated from encountering Slade so often in a fight. Um, and... It doesn't be really weird how it happens from Robin touching so many of the items, even though Slade, at least for this period of time, is dead um, because of the dust on the uh, items. Robin begins to think that Slade come back from the dead. Now, for those of us that have seen the series, we know at, at the end of the first season he actually does as a servant to the other main villain of season one but I won't give that away either um and this fight was actually very interesting um while, while it's not as complex as an anime as an anime fight would be it's still pretty interesting um Slade has the upper hand um, throughout the whole match, in fact, he pretty much obliterates Robin and makes him look like a rag doll. So much for all the training sessions from Bruce, huh? Um, so anyway, the whole key to the thing, Slay, is Robin sort of has to forget, or try to forget that Slade, not here and he's dead, and R Robin's being being around the dark is actually what causes the image to be protected. So basically, what their whole fight's over is, um, Robin was basically fighting an illusion. Now, isn't that a creative idea? An illusion kicking the main arrow's ass. Um, so yeah guys, overall I thought this was a Really interesting fight for a non-anime type of show. I mean, don't get me wrong, Teen Titans was action-oriented, but it wasn't really the anime-anime type of show. Something like Dragon Ball Z or Naruto would be. But this, was, this had good elements in its own way. So yeah, I just thought I'd take a minute to talk about that. Um, again, this version of the franchise is way better than that shit they are now, Teen Titans Go. So, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and until next time, keep on rocking, yeah.